This video is for the seventh grade blog template. First thing you should do is be on the blog template, click file up in the top left corner and then click make a copy. Then what you're going to do is erase where it says copy of and instead you'll write your name and your partner's name and then click on OK. Next what you're going to do is you're going to share the template with your partner so click share up at the top and then type in your partner's name make sure you spell it correctly then you will click on your partner's name and click on send then from here what you're going to do is you're going to click on the drop down arrow next to zoom and you're going to put it to 50 percent from here what you're going to do is scroll up and you're going to put your pointer on the line above where it says name of blog and then double click really quickly and that's going to highlight the whole entire thing. Um, so for example, I'm going to say welcome to social media gurus for our name of the blog. Um, and then from here what you're going to do is put your pointer where it says your first name on that line. Double click really quickly. You're going to add your name. Then you're going to put your pointer on the next line. Double click really quickly. Add your partner's name. Then from here, what you're going to do is give topic one and topic two. So what you're going to do is in another tab, you're going to open up Google Drive and you're going to search for your Finding Reliable Websites assignment um, from last class. So if you type in your name and Finding Reliable Websites, you should be able to find it. Um, but anyway, we just want to do this so that way we know the two topics that we're going to be teaching about. So um, my first topic is about how Instagram causes people to feel depressed. The second one, which is under website number two, is a reminder that your Instagram photos aren't really yours. So what we're going to do now is click back over to the blog template, and I'm going to double click right above where it says give topic one and topic two here. So we're just going to type in how Instagram can cause depression. And then our second topic is how your Instagram photos aren't really yours. All right, and then what we're going to do next is go over to topic one. So we're gonna double click on that give topic one here line. And topic one is how Instagram can cause depression. So we're just going to type that in for our topic. And then from here, what we're going to do is put the topic in again. Um, so where it says give topic one here, we're gonna double click really quickly and then just say something like many people don't know that Instagram is a big cause of depression. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to get a direct quote. Um, so we're going to click on um, the article um, back over to our Finding Reliable Websites document. Um, and we're gonna click on website number one, click on the blue link, and then click on the blue link that appears underneath it. And then that's going to bring you to the actual article itself. So the author's name is right up here, and it was written in 2017. So I'm just going to um, click and drag to highlight the author's name. That way I can copy it. Um, so, hold on, there we go. Um, so just going to click and drag to highlight the author's name and then hit control C on your keyboard. Then what you're going to do is click back over to the blog template and double click over where it says author's name. And then we're going to hit Control Shift V on our keyboard. Um, then from here, what you're going to do is double click over where it says year written. And in this case, I'm gonna type in 2017. And then from here, what you're going to do is find a quote. So I'm just gonna click back over to the article. And then from here, um, what we're going to do is just click and drag to highlight a sentence from the article. So I'm just going to hit control C on my keyboard. Then I'm going to click back over to the blog template, double click um, over where it says paste direct quote here and hit control shift V on your keyboard. 
And in the case that you end up with a large quote, what you can do is hit Control A on your keyboard and then change the size uh, the size of the spacing. Um, if that happens to you, click on that button. Um, and in this case, I'm just gonna do single spacing. Um, so then what you're going to do is the part where it says we think, you're going to double click on that line and then type your own opinion. So for example, um, we can say something like, we think Instagram filters are fake and give people false impressions of what other people look like. All right, so then what you're going to do is we're going to double click where it says topic two. And so topic two was how your Instagram photos aren't really yours. Um, so you're going to say um, something like how you don't really own Instagram photos. And then what you're going to do is double click um, where it says give topic two here. So double click really quickly. Um, and then you're going to say something like, many people don't know that other people can sell your Instagram photos, because that's what the article is about. And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, go to the article itself. So um, when you go back over to finding reliable websites, you're just going to scroll down to website number two, click on the blue link, then click the blue link that appears underneath it. And then from this point, what you're going to do is click and drag to highlight the author's name. So in this case, um, the author is Jessica Contrera. So we're just going to click and drag to highlight her name. And then from here, we notice that the date in this case is 2015. So we're just going to hit Control C to copy her name, click back over to the template. And then where it says, according to author's name, we're going to double click and then hit Control Shift V on your keyboard. You're gonna double click where it says year written and then type in the year. In this case, it was 2015. And then we're going to get um, a quote from this article. So if we just scroll down and find a quote. Um, and so basically what this says is if someone copies your Instagram to account of their own, the company can do something about it. If they copy your work to somewhere outside of the network, like a New York gallery, you're on your own. So I'm just going to copy that quote and hit Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to click back over to the blog template and then double click um, on the line where it says paste direct quote, hit control shift and V on your keyboard. And then lastly, what you're going to do is double click on the last line where it says we think and you're going to um, put your own opinion. So um, we think that it is unfair that people can make money from our creations. And then what you're going to do next, um, again, if it's a little bit outside of the box, you hit Control A and then click on this button here. Um, and what that's going to do is change this um, spacing to single. Um, you actually are going to want to do the same thing in the About Us. So right now I'm just going to do that. Click on the About Us, Control A to select it, and then click on the line spacing button and choose Single. And then what we're going to do is click on the um, kind of the outside of the template and then hit Backspace on your keyboard. That's going to get rid of all that tiny text. And so now our blog template looks completely like our own work.